1590 WAKR Akron's News Talk Sports Company Live special Saturday edition of the Brad Russell Show from the 37th annual Cuyahoga Falls Oktoberfest. Weather, not the greatest right now, a little bit of rain, but we're doing just fine. We have a great time here. A lot of folks have made their way into the pavilion. They call it a pavilion, but it's pretty much a fully enclosed building. Got the the windows, the glass. We got two big screen TVs set up. We got the Indians on one. We got college football on the other. We're going to be with you here live till 6 o'clock. A Ohio State pregame going to take over at that point. But come on down and be a part of this 37th Annual Oktoberfest. It's a great event. Uh, a lot of stuff for the kids to do. Obviously, great food and drink all over the place. Each one of the vendors I walked around, and it was really hard to pick and choose what I went with. Ended up going with a delicious bratwurst. Joining us now to talk a little bit about the event and what goes on as far as the preparation, the planning, we got Billy Harding joining us. He's the volunteer chairman for Oktoberfest here in Cuyahoga Falls. Billy, first off, thank you so much for making a little time to join us today. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys coming down and doing this for us. Oh, we're glad. To, we're glad to be able to come down here and be a part of this great event here and in and, and and an area that just continues to grow and get nicer and get better throughout the course of the years. Yeah, we're, we're planning on, you know, our 40th is coming up soon and, you know, with what the city is going to do with the street, you know, with the Front Street Mall and stuff like that, we're excited to be a part of it also. Yeah, definitely a great event. You mentioned uh, now this is the 37th Annual 40 coming up down the road. First one in 1980 was the first of any of the festivals here at Cago Falls. And I know all the money because it's the volunteers that really make this this event go. You guys have raised nearly a million dollars that gets put back. All the money goes right back into the, the community, which is which is absolutely amazing. Yeah, we do like our night at the races or um, our reverse raffle silent auction. You know, we do this for raising money for our scholarships and we give back to like the police foundation fund um you know and if there's different groups that you know come up and say hey you know would you be willing to donate some money to us you know we put it in front of our committee and we vote on it and it goes from there but i mean we've never really said no to anybody okay so it's more or less you know as somebody said the other day we're we're a giving organization but we're not looking to receive any you know recognition of what right. you want to say so it's 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 good it's what I've, I mean, I've been on the committee for about 14 years. So, wow. So, that's yeah. a lot, man. And it's a great thing that you're doing here, and it's a great event, and it's well planned out. Um, folks seem to be enjoying it as they walk around, even with the weather. There's still folks out there walking around, taking it in, grabbing stuff to eat and drink. Uh, Billy, talk a little bit about, as being the volunteer chairman, the work that goes on in planning this. It's it, It's got to be a year-round uh, We meet year-round. Um, we meet every third Wednesday for the last year, um, you know, yearly. Um, you know, we have subcommittees of like our golf outing and stuff like that. And we have a food chairman and vendor, um, you know, entertainment and, you know, crafts and stuff like that. So it, it's the amount of hours that we put in a year, you know, people are like, oh, you just got, you meet once a month, but it's like, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's tough. I mean, it, yeah. it's, and the thing is, you know, I look at it going, I think the spouses, the boyfriends, girlfriends for letting them our, our members do this mm -hmm. because it takes a lot you know p kids people miss their kids volleyball soccer games right you know to, to come out and do this for the community so i mean there's a lot that they sacrifice for you know from their family time to put this on for other people so and it's great to have that buy-in of the volunteers here for the uh, the Oktoberfest, again, celebrating that 37th uh, anniversary here. It's a great time. Come on out. Be a part of it. We're joined by Billy Harding. He's the volunteer chairman. Now, uh, the folks that um, maybe haven't had a chance or would like to, you know, be a part of this and help out in the community and be a volunteer, how can they go about uh, to getting into it and, and starting to help? Um, they can go to our website. We have... I'm on uh, the website. You know, they could send me a message going, hey, we, you know, would like to volunteer um they can come to our meetings it's at donato's pizza on state road every we uh, third wednesday of the month um you know it, it's just one of those things we have a facebook post you know okay. we have a facebook page right, that right. they put comments on and say hey you know can because everybody you know it's like i read the comments last night about how you know you didn't have this many vendors but i'm like you know we can't control the vendors not showing up mm -hmm. It's one of those right. things. And, and sometimes and when they see the weather might not be the greatest, they, yeah. you know, maybe they pull out. Is that an issue too? Sometimes. Okay. But, yeah. But it's always Oktoberfest, so everybody needs to bring an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> right. Northeast Ohio. Northeast you never, Ohio. They, they, that's what they say about the weather. You don't like it, give it 10 minutes. It's probably going to change. Yeah. So. And that certainly seems to be the case. We got our eye on the weather. It looks like we're going to have some clearing. It's going to be all right. Make your way down here. And, of course, what do you got coming up tonight? I, I, I printed it out. You guys got some great um, – 
some great attractions tonight. Of course, you had the Cuyahoga Falls Marching Band. They were here earlier. I got a nice video of them, posted mm -hmm. it up on WAKR's Facebook page. So if you're a Cuyahoga Falls Band uh, member, go check that out. And then tonight, uh, starting from between 3.30 and 6.30, as long as everything is weather permitting, I'm imagining, the music box featuring German family uh, society dancers. Yeah. Okay. And then after that, we have... Um humbucker blues at the north end and then we have southern rock super superstars on the south end what do we, what do we know about southern rock superstars sounds sounds pretty what we, we talking leonard skinner leonard dish skinner, here? Is that going? okay um you know just some good old a little fog hat in there uh, maybe a little slow ride free bird, free bird. Yeah, everybody loves that <laughs> everybody loves there's always that guy in the crowd anyway this yes day. play free bird, free bird like <laughs> raising his hands up so uh so that that's all on docket for for saturday the music box featuring german family society dancers and then the southern rock superstars as well and then on sunday you got the wood ridge marching band coming down from 12 30 to 1 you got the hawk hauler band what do we know about them very good German band. They're going okay. to be they're going to be at the north end. A lot of polka band with that. So a lot of polka sounds. So if you like to dance and do polka, that's come okay. down and see them. And then you got uh, at uh, from five to eight, you got instant replay. Yeah, another band. Another good band. Um, just one of those tap your feet, get up. Okay. Well, pa house party band house party type thing. Band. Okay. Yep. Very good. A lot of great entertainment. Come on down. Got to talk about the food, though. When you're talking Oktoberfest, it's all about the food, and it's all about the beer. Let's it's all talk about, about what, 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 what's the drink of choice today, Billy? Uh, we have Spotten on Tap, which is, it was 13, they started making beer in 1337 or something like Jeez. that back in Germany. Okay. So I think they've kind of fine-tuned it. Um, <laughs> they've had some time anyway. They've had some do. time to do that. Um we have Patsy's pierogies that are over here on the south end of the mall. We have Kirby, it's Kirby's Meats. They're always a mainstay. We have fresh catering. Um, they're doing schnitzel and sausage. And uh, Patsy pierogies is always the pierogies. That's what, where I go. What exactly is schnitzel? I'm not. I'm not familiar. It's, I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. Um, padded chicken. It's oh, okay. Like chicken breaded chicken down, and and you serve it with like a hot mustard. Oh, that sounds Horse, delicious. Horseradish. I went with the bratwurst earlier because I'm. I mean, I've had Polish sausage, I've had kielbasa, I've never had a bratwurst. I went with that. It's pretty good. That's uh, what I had for breakfast. Is that what you had? Yeah, for that's okay. what I had for breakfast. So <laughs> that's a good way to start the day, Billy. Started out on a bang. You so. can't complain about that. All right. So for fo if anything you want to say in, in final and wrapping up for folks to come down here to check out today, just come on down. I know the weather. You know, looking at the weather, it should be clear in the next hour or so. Come down, enjoy the beer. Come down and join the bands. You know, support your community. You know, because all this is just going back to the community. So, you know, the more people that come down here, the more we can give out back. There you go. So, you guys are doing a great job. I've enjoyed myself and the time we've been here today. Looking forward to hanging out for another few hours or so. And then, of course, if folks want to come down and, and grab something to eat, we got this beautiful area set up, a ton of tables, indoors. So if the rain does come, you can come in here. we got TV set up. Like I mentioned, you got the Indians game on one. you got some um, Big Ten football on the other. Ohio State game gets kicked off at 7.30. Folks can watch it right here. And then uh, just all kinds of stuff for folks and people to do. Make your way down here. 37th Annual Oktoberfest, Cuyahoga Falls. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be a great evening. Come down be a part of it and help support the local community here in Cuyahoga Falls. Billy, again, we appreciate you so much for stopping by. Good stuff. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the weekend here Thank at Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. All right. All right. Hanging out with Billy. Glad that he could stop by and, and talk with us for a little bit uh, about the event that's going on here at Oktoberfest and all the stuff.